Hi guys, Ryu here and in this video I'm gonna talk to you about two most important add-ons, free add-ons for Blender in my opinion. And these are two add-ons I probably couldn't live without anymore. Uh, first of all it's gonna be machine tools and the other one's gonna be power safe. Now machine tools is a genius add-on. It's a very simple one but it uh, introduces a lot of uh, you know quality of life changes to Blender. Uh, for example, uh, when you want to switch uh, between different modes. So I'm going to load uh, Blender 2.93 very quickly and I'm going to show you uh, the difference between with and without it. I'm just going to disable it very quickly, all right? So let me just go here and disable power save and machine tools. There we go, all right? So I have no add-ons here. Now, if I wanted to, for example, add a cube, and by the way, sorry about that, but in my Blender 2.93, screencast keys are not working, so you will not be able to see my uh, which keys I'm pressing, but I'll simply tell you. So if I press Shift-A to add a new item, and I'm going to add a cube, and then I wanted to, you know, let's say, um, move some verts or faces or edges, I will need to press Tab first to go to Edit Mode, and then I would need to press 1, 2, or 3, you can see here in the top, 1, vert, 2, edge, 3, and you can see that the display is changing. I can now select face, 2, edge, or 1, vert, right? Don't worry, by the way, about colors. I have different colors set up and size of verts. Um, you can adjust them in here. If you go to edit preferences, um, you go to themes and viewport, you can change colors of faces, edges in here, and the vert size is here in the bottom. So you can change it from three to seven and then save preferences, okay? So anyway, um, you can see it's really slow because I have to press tab, then the one, two, or three. It's just really irritating. So let me show you how it works with uh, machine tools. So shift A, okay, and I'm gonna add a cube. I'm in Blender 2.92 right now. And if I want to change uh, between edit mode and object mode, I simply press tab and move my mouse uh, to a pie menu to switch to edge, vertex or face, right? So, um, you know, I press my tab, I move my mouse and release, press my tab, move my mouse and release. And I don't have to go first to edit mode if I don't want to. I can do that. I can switch between object and edit mode but I can go direct, directly from object mode to, for example, edge. So look how fast this is, okay? This is object mode, vert edge face, right? That's how fast this is, right? And you press on the one key and you just move your mouse a little bit. And eventually after some time, your muscle memory is gonna kick in and you will just simply do it subconsciously. So if you wanna switch to vert, you're just gonna flip it really quickly, right? So that's first advantage of machine tools, but there are many others, for example, if you have um, geometry that it's kind of you know somewhere in space like this okay and you want to clean it or you got geometry here in the middle so if i'm going to subdivide this edge and i'm going to create a vert here in the middle you know this is all unnecessary geometry you would take time to clean it with uh, vanilla blender but in machine tools you got a cleanup option when you press three and everything disappears okay that's how easy that is. And that's just tip of an iceberg, guys, okay? If you want to watch my video on machine tools, you, you're most welcome to do that. I'm explaining all the tools over there, like, for example, Shift-S for changing the origin or cursor position, which you can, by the way, do from here, but there are two menus for them, okay? One of them is the original Shift-S, which is the same as with machine tools, but the other one, you need to actually go here to set the origin point to this object uh, tab, okay? where Machine Tools is actually gathering them all in one place. So if I switch to Blender 2.93 and press Shift-S, you can see that my menu is very different. That's the default Blender menu. And you can see that, for example, moving origin to uh, cursor is not in here. You actually need to go here and go to the origin uh, settings in here, whereas in, uh, whereas in Machine Tools, you have everything in one, one place, okay? Other things that are really um, very convenient is, for example, setting the camera. If I'm going to try to set the camera in Vanilla Blender to a view, it's going to be quite complicated because you need to first add a camera. So shift A and add a camera. And then the camera is here in the middle. Okay. 
and you need to you know kind of move it and align it to wherever you want it uh, to be placed whereas with machine tools all you need to do is set your view to the way you want it to look at uh, the object you know kind of like position it and frame it then you simply go to page down which is a default key uh, set by machine tools and simply smart come to view boom and you're done right and this come can be very easily assigned to i mean lock to view so you can move with the camera you can change the focal length everything is you know uh, sort of uh, under one menu then another really convenient menu is uh, for example a uh, control s which is um, uh, allows you to very quickly, for example, load most recent file or import or export stuff from OBJ and FBX files. Uh, you can append stuff from other blend files, like for example, materials or lights, or, you know, different collections, etc. Okay, and also you could you have a purge option, uh, which by the way is also here on top in version 2.93 and above. So if I expand this and go here to orphan data. You can see purge button in here as well. This is for cleaning unnecessary data in Blender. Okay. Now, when you install machine tools, the machine tools you install very easily. You simply go to Blender Market or Gumroad. You go to Machine uh, Store and you download uh, Machine Tools. Just grab the free version because there are two versions. One of them is um, paid one, and the other one is free. So you can get the free version and the paid version just has this additional option here called edge edge constraint um, and it's really cool but you know if you want a free version it has all these other options that i'm using so now um, these are my options that i have enabled um, you don't really need mesh cut if you're using for example box cutter this is for uh, knife cuts i also have a video on this one uh, also you probably don't need this one as well uh, let's turn off this one as well uh, but I would recommend using, uh, maybe this one is not, not in as well. I would recommend using all these, okay. I would enable all these um, options and disable this one here. This is something that annoys me in machine tools really heavily. It's simply switching off and off curvature when I'm switching modes, which just annoys the shit out of me. I want my curvature to, uh, sorry, my cavity to... Um, to stay on at all times so when i enable cavity um by going here and where was it here cavity enable as you see kind of displays edges a little bit better so if this option here in machine tools is enabled it will automatically turn it off which just drives me fucking nuts but other than that i would enable all of them now um i want to talk a bit more here about align pi as well it's really important right so align pi is amazing guys it's when you have like very you know somewhere in space you want to align them back to your mesh align pi is fantastic so um you select this vert and shift select this one you press alt a and you simply align to the top it works according to view okay and then you got this problem here so select this one select this one alt a and bottom and then let's say select this one and this one and alt a and you know right and you can also use point menu here as well so for example it can be very quick like this it's a fantastic tool now be because um, alt a normally in vanilla blender deselects multiple objects uh, what I'm using for that is simply AA or clicking on a canvas. So let me show you if I uh, select everything with A. Uh, I either press AA very quickly or simply click here on the canvas, right? Whereas in Vanilla Blender, um, you can press um, Alt A, which will deselect multiple objects. So this is the only change. But if you want, you can actually change uh, these settings um under key maps because you can go here to key maps and you can change all the settings and key uh, you know shortcuts for machine tools i think machine tools is probably one of the most important add-ons for blender and it speeds up your workflow immensely okay immensely i i there's no way i'm i'm modeling without this so now power safe is a very interesting add-on is created by bongiorno from team c who uh, is working uh, on hard ups and box cutter and he created this free add-on uh, which i think is brilliant i would also recommend you look in his store if you want to buy some add-ons because he has other ones like power backup and, and power link which are quite interesting but power save is just genius so let me uh, explain how it works now 
when you um, let's say model something right and let's say um, let's just you know um, control uh, shift control B this to create a bevel like this and let's say we want to save this file okay so I'm gonna save this file go into file and save as and I'm going to go here and save it on the desktop as untitled let's say untitled is fine or let's say cube test okay cube test right and I'm gonna save it all right and then I'm gonna go here to power save this is by default everything is switched off right I'm gonna use auto save and auto save to copy these are the two options I have turned on and this is an interval which will uh, determine how many minutes it will take in this case it's two minutes between each auto save now these settings what they will do if I run power save on top of this regular save right uh, it will create a consecutive file you see cube text is 0 0.1 but in addition to this okay after two minutes it will create an auto save so it's going to be auto saving to a separate file so it will not override your master file so you got master file and auto save every two minutes it's literally impossible to lose your work because you know uh, you can set it to like 1 minute 60 seconds so you know you're going to lose 60 seconds of your work and each time you click power save it's going to create a second uh, consecutive file see now it's cube tech 0 0.2 and a new autosave for this one so you don't have to really go here and save as and type a name you just simply go here and click and you're done so power save is fantastic because blender recovery um, tool is there but um, it failed me a few times and I just you know um, I was a bit upset. So power safe never failed me. It always works. It's essential for uh, for my work, and I I couldn't live without this. It's, ge it's genius. This is genius. Okay, you got other options here as well. If you're interested, you can explore them. But I'm using literally these two, and that's it. Okay. Now let me show you one more thing that uh, Machine Tools is fantastic at. Okay, so let's say we save this file, all right, and our Blender crashed, all right, and then we're gonna open Blender 2.92, right? So let me just uh, close my other Blend file, 2.92, and we want to load our file really quickly. I'm gonna press Ctrl S with Machine Tools and load most recent. And you load it into cube tag 0.2 so you see these two add-ons are working very well together and uh, they create kind of like a super background sort of like a background um you know like an ambient music in your in your in your headphones when you're modeling kind of like that and it's just gonna it's there in the background it doesn't bother you but it's extremely helpful and uh, very fast. So if you're starting with Blender, you're wondering which add-ons to get. These are the two add-ons I would very highly recommend. They are free, so you don't have to you don't have to pay anything. You can just try them out, see how you like add-on workflow. But I think working in Blender without add-ons is just beyond stupid because you know these are tools created to speed up your work and all these uh, purist bullshit you know people saying that oh you should be using blender as intended they're just fucking full of shit okay they don't know what they're doing if you're you know if you want to work efficiently or you're a professional or you're an aspiring professional or even a hobbyist it doesn't matter you just want to save some time and you want to model quicker and you know um without any hassle i would highly recommend working with add-ons but these two um like i said are free and you should definitely start with these two because you know they will speed up your workflow immensely now if you want to save your options for power save and for uh, machine tools what you need to do is go here to preferences and you need to save preferences after you set them up and then also set your blend file the way you want and you know uh, save startup file so when you open it's going to be open you know in the same fashion so if i close it now um, and open it again you will see that my settings gonna be here and the same thing with machine tools so if I go to here to machine tools you can see that my settings are you know are being remembered by blender so that's it guys that's how you set these two add-ons and that's how I would recommend working with them machine tools offers much more than what I showed you uh, this is just you know like I said tip of an iceberg but there's a lot more in there so I you know, suggest you either read your documentation or watch my videos. I have a ton of videos on machine tools. And also I'm using this on every freaking time. And this one is really easy, guys. There's not much to it, really. It's very simple to set up, uh, but it's extremely powerful. 
Now in terms of installation, uh, it's extremely easy. All you need to do is uh, download the add-ons uh, from the internet. So either from Blender Market or Gamroad, simply install them zip file. So you don't have to un unzip anything. You download the zip file, then click on install, find the file on your, uh, on your computer, click install, and when it loads, you simply check this, uh, you tick this box here and save preferences and you're done and the add-on is installed okay because when add-on loads it's going to be loaded here but it's not going to be actually appearing on the end panel so if you want it to appear on the end panel you need to check this box and then save preferences and then when you go here you can see i have hard ups now here okay so that's how it works all right now the last thing i want to say is that if you are a complete beginner you would like to start learning how to use blender I have a really comprehensive video that's going to guide you through all these menus and all this bullshit in here in the blender because there's so much shit. You know, first time when I opened this thing, I was like, Jesus Christ, you know. I came from Photoshop and I thought it was complicated. When I opened blender, I was like, fucking hell. So when you feel intimidated, you know, don't. It's really easy. I mean, most of these things you're not going to be using anyway. And the video I created actually shows you which are the most important things that you should be using and what you should set up and how. So hop on the video, it's called Absolute um, Beginner's Guide to Blender. And I'm working over there, I think, on Blender 2.92 or 91, I can't remember. But it doesn't matter because uh, 93 or 92 or 3.0, because I'm using 3.0 as well. Uh, they, um, see here on the bottom, you're going to have a version 3.0. It's an alpha experimental. Uh, it doesn't really matter, they're all the same. The interface is literally the same, okay? So uh, it doesn't matter which... Um, blender you are uh, you're using there are a few new features but essentially there is no change okay so i wouldn't worry too much about the version as long as you're working in 2.8 plus you should be fine and that's it guys okay so hope you enjoyed the vid thanks for watching see you in the next one